I'm Mark Thiessen, Washington Post columnist and senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute with 10 America First reasons to support Ukraine. Reason number seven, arming Ukraine is revitalizing our defense industrial base. Money that Congress has allocated to arm Ukraine is not being spent in Ukraine. It's going primarily to Americans, either to replace weapons sent to Ukraine from U.S. stockpiles or to build the weapons we are sending to Kyiv. As Seth Jones, the director of the International Security Program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies explains, when we're talking about giving assistance to Ukraine, these weapon systems are produced by American or allied or partner countries. They're produced by General Dynamics, by Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Boeing in some cases, and they're being built in most cases in the United States. Aid to Ukraine creates jobs in the United States and energizes our defense industrial base, which had dangerously atrophied after the Cold War. Jones recently conducted a series of US-China war games, and he found that the United States, without stepped up production, would run out of precision weapons within a week after fighting began. Moreover, the weapons being sent to Ukraine will not dull the United States' readiness to defend Taiwan. The U.S. military strategy there is to deny China the ability to cross the 100-mile Taiwan Strait for a landing. This isn't a job for howitzers, high-mobility artillery rocket systems, or armored vehicles. It's a job for F-35 Joint Strike Fighters, B-2 and soon-to-be-deployed B-21 bombers, nuclear submarines, and long-range anti-ship missiles. We're giving none of those capabilities to Ukraine, says Fred Kagan, director of AEI's Critical Threats Project. So the argument that RA to Ukraine is somehow putting Taiwan at greater risk militarily is fallacious. We are also benefiting from the assistance provided to Ukraine by our NATO partners. With their significant donations of military equipment to Ukraine, allies are in the process of replacing their antiquated Soviet-era weapon systems with newer, modern systems that are NATO interoperable, many of them produced by the United States. American workers, the military, and the United States' vital defense industries are the beneficiaries.